Hi guys, this is Corey from Abu Dhabi and I decided to do my project on a webcam because I feel that lots of the interaction we would have in a normal class environment isn't available to us in Blackboard um, because everything's lost in writing and we don't really have time to converse because it's not like you can just have small chat um, online. Um, I learned a lot in mathematics because I came from a year one SL uh, course in IB and lots of the things that we did were very different to what you guys probably did in pre-calculus because I found that when you guys were saying, oh, it's such a review, it's, it's easy, um, I found it very, I, was, I wouldn't say it's challenging, but um, there were lots of things I didn't know about that you guys had known about priorly. Um, I learned a lot through independent study uh, simply because I think I learned to trust myself more and um, I found it really difficult to handle all the assignments on time and not procrastinate and um, although that was a struggle throughout the whole year, I think that I learned a lot because um, I was doing it all on my own and it was it was something new and although you do have the site the site manager at your school it's still really difficult to find that motivation and initiative by yourself to do your work and finish everything on time um, writing mathematically I'm not sure exactly what that referred to but I was guessing it's just like how we write math as in terms of where to put the parentheses and how to how to express things in simplest form and etc. Um, I I think I expanded that ability as well because I I think it's a lot easier when you're seeing math frequently in the same form and in the proper form. Then I think you kind of gain that um, naturally. And so finding where to put the parentheses was a lot easier for me towards the end of the year because like. If you have a parenthesis in a different area than it should be, then it can completely change the equation. And um, I'm glad that I had the opportunity ex to expand that ability. Um, calculator technology. Uh, I really enjoyed the snip snippets of um, of calculator technology in the textbook. How they would tell us how to change our window and how to change the graph and actually graph the stuff. I mean, I didn't really use a calculator because I never really relied on one. I was one of those students that was capable of doing the math inside my head or on the paper, proving it. And I mean, if I needed to solve something, it would just be in that original, um, uh, sorry, the original um, calculator space. Um, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't think of the word. Um, so I would just push a button, do the calculation, and that would be that. But um, I found myself a, a lot more relying on graphs. And um, if I ever wanted to double check things, I could plug it into the graph, find the derivative, find the integral, find the maximum minimum, just to double check my answer. And that was really useful because um, it really helped out in the calculus test, like the AP exam, um, which was really helpful. Like if I didn't know how to do something by hand or didn't know how to solve it by hand, I could just plug it into the calculator, which I think is really handy. It's, it's a really good resource. Um, Blackboard, I was pretty comfortable with because I had done it since eighth grade. And at the beginning, it was really hard because I, we stopped using it in 11th grade. And so like using Blackboard after that was really difficult. Like I had to refresh everything that I was that I had learned and um, the blackboard that we used was a little bit different because it was it wasn't just specifically for one class it was um, a place for all of our homework and then each teacher would post what um, just announcements on what our homework was and so this I think I I um, brought in my horizons with blackboard and was more capable of posting in discussions and forums and even using a wiki like I didn't know how to do that before but um, I found myself more and more proficient with the technology and that was that's really comforting to know because our our century is really becoming more technology dominated and it's really nice to have that um, that technology that you can fall back on 
Um, an equation editor I didn't really use much, but I'm guessing if, if someone used it, it would be really helpful to um, learn how to express things in different ways because it's a lot easier to solve for things when it's um, an expanded form or when um, things are in, in a simplified order. Um, okay, comparing and contrasting face-to-face -face mathematics with internet, uh, material, internet mathematics class. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that I would choose internet mathematics class over face-to-face -face class. Um, just because I think for me, I'm a really auditory learner and I have to be taught there and then. Um, so reading from a textbook was really difficult for me and even the notes, they were really helpful, but it was still pretty difficult for me. And um, I found myself going to teachers anyway and with, with questions about how to do something or how to do a topic. And um, so I think face-to-face -face was better, but for me, like, I think many students could succeed in, uh, in an internet class because that might be their personality. They might just be really good at independent study and able to motivate themselves to do all the work and understand it from the textbook. Like, I don't think I have that capability as well as other people, and I definitely learn a lot better face-to-face. -face. Um, so that's kind of what I think about um, this course. and how it compares with face-to-face -face mathematics. Um, but it's definitely a great course, and I would recommend it to people who, who really want to do other things in high school, because I think VHS has the flexibility that other classes don't really have, and that you can take it any class block. You don't have to have that teacher, which is kind of nice sometimes. Like, if you, if you have a bad teacher, then you can't really put it past you. But if it's independent study, then you're you're capable of doing anything you want with that course. Um, I, I think I did learn a lot. Um, I, I definitely learned time management because of the, the, constant, um, the constant deadlines that we had and um, the workload that we had. That was, it was pretty intense. Like there was lots of work that we had to do. And I think I'm way better prepared for college because who knows? Who knows what will come? And um, I think I'm ready to work hard and do stuff because, you know, I would find myself trying to be efficient in what I did with calculus and n turning off the music when I was doing homework because that's how you do it. That's what you need to do if you're going to try and finish everything. Um, so it was nice to meet you guys. Hopefully I'll see one of you in the future or something and uh, hope you enjoy this. Bye.